Hey everyone, I'm Captain Forest Falcon. Welcome back to Summon Knight Sword Coast Story 2 Blind. So, uh, last time, uh, it was a bit of a rough fight. I'm gonna not gonna lie about that. So, what do you say we make some better weapons? So, I'm gonna break down this axe because I maxed it out on tech, specifically because I want to use it with the next best item that we have going forward. So, that's something we'll do. The, the drill, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll check and see what items we have. These are getting close. Drill, though, is what I might want to keep going forward, but first let's just do the axe for now. Okay, so, the angel ice statue, that's the only, like, new thing that we got. So I think it's natural that I would want to make my best weapon out of this. So let's see what we get. Hopefully it's something pretty good. We got another rank up. There are still rank ups. A ribbon Caesar. Craft Knight rank up. The material has been used. So we got a rank up. Does that even do anything at this point? Or is it just like for, hey, hey, look at the progress you're making. Okay, uh, where is this? Ribbons give it a glamorous touch. Yeah, so the tech is halved. Agility is low. So I just really care more about the stats at this point. So again, defense... Uh, I don't like that huge decrease in agility. Like, I like the attack on this. I just don't at all like, you know, losing... Sacrificing uh, agility for it. Because that just... I know I can switch weapons, I just don't like to do it that often. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a lot with which we can just... We know for sure works. We've only got one of these left. And we've got a diffusion device. No idea what this will do. Like, that's the problem. Is a lot of this is just experimentation. Ooh, could I really just... Is there anything that boosts agility by a lot that we know of? Man, I wish we had like a category of all. You know what? Let's try the cat paw figurine. Might as well go all in. Okay. You know what? Screw it. We'll just use one of those. And then for the last one, we'll use a crystal. Just because it's, you know, it's generally good all around. And let's hope that, uh, so there's only one thing here that we know is going to be detrimental. Uh, and hopefully the cat paw figurine. I'm hoping that it'll counter against that agility drop. Like, let's see. So, agility minus 30. And we got an effect parry. Interesting, how does parry work? So let me just check and see what we got. So, oh, I guess I can't unfortunately check what the uh, effect of the cat paw figurine was. But did our agility actually go up on that weapon? Because that was a plus, not a minus. So let me just check. Where's the axe? Yeah, like keep in mind, we used like a minus 15. We had like a minus 15 uh, in terms of agility there. And... So that means that that boost in agility must have been like, uh, what was it, 30? Which which was what I thought, which is why I used it, because I was thinking that it enables me to use that, get some attack up, and it should counter against the agility loss. Uh, I need to re-equip some of my stuff because, you know, everything broke in that fight. Look at that attack. That attack is just fantastic. This attack is okay. It's got the drill skill, and I, I want to boost the tech some more. Like, that's the thing, is that if you boost the tech enough on your weapons, it proves to give you just such a huge absolute boost for the actual fight. Also, uh, so is our rank hero, or is it something else that we see? Let me just check. Was it... Uh, upgrades. Uh, I don't know. It might just be hero is the rank that we have. Let's just take a nap. And 
I think we're good for now, unless there's anything that we could get. Anything else to say, Braun? Nope. So... Unless there's anything that we could upgrade and say here. I don't know if they actually give you new upgrades here. Let me just check. Ninja sandals. Let's see, jump like a ninja. So what was the thing I got? This does look new, doesn't it? Yeah, we got the horn bracelet. We can get this, that'll boost our defense and our agility. Oh, but we need materials to get that. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, what materials did we need for that? Let me just check. Need a ninja scroll too and a horn bracelet. I could probably get that, couldn't I? Like, uh... Where is it? No, that's the wrong way. I need to go to the fishing hole and, uh... You could, you could get another another uh, thing there, right? So if we just go up here... We're just going to check this really quick. I probably don't have enough. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm like such a little bit short. You know what? Screw it. I can probably get this really quickly. I have no bait! Gosh dang it. You'd, you'd think you'd find some bait, but I guess not in those dungeons. Okay, how much do I want this? Uh, okay, you know what? Uh, there's a really fast place we can go, get some bait, then I can do some fishing. I could probably do it in just, like, one fishing. So it's the Water Fortress. Water Fortress, we can get a Gourmet Clam or two, and then we can do a bit of fishing. And that should give us the points we need to get that Ninja Scroll too, and get the better upgrade material. I don't need those. You must be the one that sells. Yes. I'll buy two. I'll buy two just in case. And yeah, unless I do absolutely catastrophic on the fishing, uh, we should be able to do it. So yeah, I just want every little boost I can get. Now the thing is, is that maybe even after this next area, uh, they'll have another material available, available that'll make it obsolete. But I don't care, I want the boosts right now. Okay, fishing. Here we go. And once again, I'm probably gonna do dreadful at this since I haven't had any practice in a while. Uh, it's just such an RNG thing because so much of it depends on the fish, like whether it actually shows up. One thing I've noticed usually is that uh, if you screw up, it always feels to me... Oh man, I gotta concentrate. Come on, really? Like I said, I'm just doing... I didn't get a single perfect, my gosh. Oh, now you get the perfect, of course. But it doesn't matter. The thing I just want to point out though, is that usually whenever I miss one of the fish, it always feels like the fish, uh, they tend to like circle around and then not bite down, so you have to wait for the next fish. It's the worst thing. Uh, if I just don't, okay, I got one. Okay, I've gotta be quick on the rest of these, otherwise we're not gonna get enough points. Uh, yeah, so, oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe I just do like the short ones. Just don't even bother with the long ones. Just do the short ones. I'll have to if I want to get a third fish. Oh, there we go. Now, now I'm warmed up. Now I'm getting the perfects. My gosh. <laughs> like, look, see? See that? See what happens once I've had a few practice runs? My gosh. Uh, we should be able to get this one at least. We've got plenty of time on this. We did it. I just need to like do that. We're not gonna get this next one unless the fish bites bites down right away, because it just always blinks too fast. Yeah, you see. We did it. Gosh dang it. 
Did we at least get enough points? Okay, good. So that's enough points, which it should be because the uh, gourmet cl clams give you the best fish. So what I wanted to get, I want to get one of these, and then because the thing I've got is the horn bracelet, right? So if I go to my uh, equipment and I just unequip that, now it should be available in our inventory. So when I go to the shop, we can get the ninja one. So just got to buy. No, not buy. I need to go to create. There we go. Uh, ninja one. There we go. Costs a decent amount of money, but I'm not using that money anyway, so I might as well do it. Okay. So this gives us a little bit of a boost. Just a little bit. Keeps our agility from being too low. I mean, really, because we use the cat figurine, our agility is definitely way better. Like, that seriously was a pre Okay, I can't go this way. I need to actually go... Yeah, go and see Bruno, and he needs to warp us to the Oni Springs, which is the next area. So, I think we're about as prepared as we need to be. I'm not too worried about the regular enemies. It's mostly the boss fights, because... Like you saw, I was handling myself perfectly fine in the regular enemy fights. It's definitely the bosses that are the challenge. So... I just want to have, like, at least one weapon that's, like, really good and can actually do some serious damage. I need at least one serious damage dealer. Anyway, I don't think there's anything new here, uh, but there might be some people that we'll see, so I'm just going to cut ahead in case we run into them. Okay, these two are still here. Now that my eyes are healed, I see that you're a really handsome guy. I bet all the girls fall for you. No, brother, look at me. Am I more beautiful now than before as well? Yes, you are. Are you serious, brother? Of course I'm serious, Kohina. <laughs> brother! Kohina. Okay, okay. Okay, that's it. <laughs> so I think that that's probably... You know, like, we saw at least somebody from, like, every single previous, uh, event that we did. Like, even even in the, uh, Ruined Factory, we also saw, like, some robots from before. Like, since there wasn't anyone in particular that we ran into. Oh, boy, I have to navigate this place again. Oh, it's these two. Let's see how well we do, uh, when we've got this super nice axe. Also, they teleport... Is that a... Well, I mean, I feel like I took them out pretty... I must have taken them out pretty quick before. So I didn't notice that. Uh, I think... No, I'm going the wrong way. Get ready for me to get lost in the steam. That's gonna be a thing. Yeah, I might as well just run from some of these fights. Uh, so do I cut at this point? Oh. Once again, good thing I have my sword. Uh, this is... Oh, here. We can just eliminate the steam here, right? Yeah, because I never actually found any of that in these areas. Like, you can navigate just fine without worrying about the steam. But if I can knock it out, I might as well do it. Oh, hello! So this is where they are. Interesting! I, did, I wasn't expecting we'd even see them again. Hey you, why are you here? I'm here because my sister said that she'd like to visit the hot springs someday. Uh, let's not get into any details for now, alright? Hello, Edgar. It's quite a surprise to run into you here. Ryuga said he wanted to visit the hot springs, so I came with him. Did you guys come here to take a hot bath too? I'm glad to see you again so soon. What a coincidence. Or maybe it was fate. Like I said, we'll meet again. I didn't really expect it to be this soon, though. No, I wasn't actually expecting... Like, I kind of expected, like, the uh, other two because they were in this area previously. But I wasn't expecting that we'd even see these two again. It's really nice, though, that you actually get to see them. Because it's, like, suggested that, oh, they're gone at the end of the story. So... They actually are still in the game. 
still one place you can see them. So now I think we've seen basically everyone. I just wanted to check the quest items just... Okay, yeah, I was just curious if it said anything interesting. The unlocked talisman is reacting! But yeah, it's really cool that they're still here. Okay. And it's nice to see them just before we... Everyone is here! Really? I'm looking for any trace of the evil energy down here. And who should I bump into but you? It's easy to lose your sense of direction down here, though. You should be careful. Your spirit is what matters most. Be spirited. Oh, that's really cool that all these guys, you know, that we didn't expect to see again after this... It's nice that they all kind of showed up right here. Oh, I wonder, does that mean that we'll find Gora here? Because if we found these guys... Like, Gora is still somewhere in the world, so what if he's here? That would be cool to see. Because we just kind of got, like, the one scene with him. So it'd be nice just to, you know, get a little bit more of a feel for him. Also, I need to be a little bit better fighting those guys. I took a lot of unnecessary damage. Wow, that experience. Such amazing experience. Oh, everything is going to be steamed over, isn't it? Uh, where's my hammer? I want to clear this up if I can. Uh, no, not here. I've got to go up. Come on, there's got to be a spot somewhere nearby. Oh, but there's plenty of fights, though. Oh, I just realized something very important, but I'll take care of that uh, after this episode is over. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, speaking of things that I noticed that are very important, let's use this also. Don't you just love how I managed to, like, get three of them down to 100 health without killing any of them? That takes practice! Okay, I should be fine here for the most part. I just want to explore a little bit, and then we'll call it. Okay, these guys, they give terrible experience. They just go through my health. It's not worth fighting them. Like, maybe if... Oh yeah, there's two things here. Maybe this is where the uh, the thing is. Is everything here just these guys? Like I've run into nothing but them. Yeah, this is what I figured. This is what I wanted. And we get a little present here. Come on, I can see. Thank you. Got a rare medal. Okay, so... Yeah, I think I'm actually going to end it here. So this might be a little bit short, but... That's okay. Anyway, I need to go back because I need to recharge my gems. Which I will 100% need in the boss. I, If it's anything like the rest. I mean, this is technically going to be like the final one, right? And the rabbit's kind of like an extra. So we'll see how it is. Oh, I just thought, what if it's... Like, I was thinking maybe the monkey guy. What if we actually have to fight Gora again? Like in like a sparring match or something. That would be interesting. Like, just have a final fight with Gora. Well, we'll see. We've got this area to explore, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. May you soar like the Amazing Falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out!